And as everybody knows from the last video, we're going to take this garage door out and we're going to put a window here. We're going to frame it all in. I just took all the supports off here. I had so many supports on here worried about a storm that it took me like 15 minutes just to get them off. Remember, I'm far from a professional. I'm just trying to show the home user you can do stuff yourself. You don't have to pay it through the nose for you know, someone to put a wall up. It's pretty simple. I will make mistakes. I can tell you that right now today. I just got this new saw from Lowe's. You guys know it's like 119 bucks, 120 bucks, and I just put two 2x4s, eight footers. And uh, I'm gonna just screw it here temporarily. Okay, guys, I got it screwed down. All we're doing now is cutting a 2x6 pressure treater for the floor. We're going to put some sealant on that and we're going to bolt it to the floor. Oh, you couldn't get any better than that. It's right to the edge, Jack. So I'm going to come in a half inch because this does not line up. See? This does not line up with the block completely all the way around because it's off. So I'm going to make another wall. I'm going to bring it out of here. But as far as this goes, the wall is going to be right here, so I'm going to be right about there. I put some uh, mason nails, two and a half inches, and I drilled the wood out first, and I took a small bit and I drilled about a quarter way through that concrete, and I jammed that in there so it can't shift this way. It doesn't matter up or down, because there's going to be weight on it. It's this way. So the head's not in there all the way. I don't want to crack the concrete, okay? I did the same thing for this side. It's in there. It's not coming out. With dad's old Mi Miyaki. Miyaki, son, Miyaki. 12, I'm going to go 12 inches on center. I could do 16, but I'm going to do 12 because it's going to be our bedroom. I don't want a car coming through our bedroom because this is a hill coming down here. So I'm going to mark 12. I'm going to mark my studs out on the center. This way I don't put one of those bolts right through where the studs got to be. Okay, guys, I'm going to just, just check the RO of the window. I know it's three foot, but I'm going to double check. It's three foot. I gotta figure this out now, because I marked them right here, and that's wrong, because the window's gonna be too far to the left. This is where I get mixed up. There's one foot, two foot, three foot. There's one foot, two foot, three foot. I'm off. So I gotta... These are made for 16 on center is what the problem is. I need a hammer drill and I don't have one. Fred's over there doing that. I'm still trying to wake up. Fred. I'm still sleepy. Come over here. And he's like Mach huh. 55 over here. Hey. Put the bolt on a Put the nut on the bolt so when you drive these things in, what they do is this thing will quite an anchor and it'll suck this thing when you try to back this bolt up, put this bolt on. Is that going to go in the ground? I need four two by fours. Yeah, I know, but what are you doing over there? It's dull. It's dull? So you're not making a dollar? You got to put a straight edge on her. Concrete. Masonary. So you don't need to do an angle? Angle's right here. So now I'm getting two by four. He did take the garage door down, which is good. But now he wants to get these bolty things in. So once that's done, then basically framing, then wood, then window. And we're done so with that door, or with that window. Whoa! Jeez, I can't even talk yet. See? Don't you wish I was your helper? Well, do you have to say the square thingy, the speed. small this square is, thingy? This is a speed square, the other one's a big square. You have to say the small square thingy, not speed square. I have no idea what you're talking about, speed square. Speed square. Let's go, hold up. Speed square. We got hey, this. we gotta measure the top. We gotta measure the top. 
Okay, Fred, come over. I'll show you how to cut. See this right here? Mm -hmm. You watching? I'm watching. Now, this has got a laser beam, but I don't use it. It's not on the left side. It's not on the right side. It's dead center. Go ahead and go do a close-up. See right there? Mm -hmm. It's dead center on the mark. We don't want to be on the left side of the mark. We don't want to be right. We want to be dead center. Okay? okay. So when you do a cut, you hold that other side of the wood. Now, when you push a, when you want to push that next block away, let me show you how to do it. I'm learning this stuff, so I'm showing you guys. See right here? Can you put on a block? See, I'm not going to stick my hand in there. I'm going to push it with the wood out of the way. Well, we messed up and we had to start over, kind of. Actually, I had to take and build a new wall here and a new header because we have to actually come in on the top. The reason why is because this blocks, this board originally, this two by 12 wasn't straight and I don't feel like taking this off because it was all Tapcon in there real good. So we kept the two by 12 on and uh, we countersink this just a little bit, if you look, to match that block when I put siding on here. This, we did not, it's gonna come to here and the board actually, the board eventually comes down in. So we got Heather uh, measuring the cripples they're called a cripple, and what that is, is the studs going this way under the still, sill. And I double, I did the double, I think that's called a jack stud, and a regular. And I got the window in now. So I got it almost finished now. Um, it's not going anywhere either. We double, double, hit it here with two studs. We don't need any more, that's crazy, that's overkill if we do another one. Fred, what do you think? Is it strong? You think it's strong? It's all screwed too, right? I better shut the door. I don't want any bugs to get in, you know what I mean? So I got it all framed out. And we'll put the plywood on it. It should sink flush with the block and then we can strip it with strips and then put insulation on the outside and on the inside. So it's gonna be like a bunker. I was being lazy and bought garlic hummus and watch Fred's face. I love the smell of garlic. Like, absolutely love it. Hey, we gotta get out there, Jack. We got... Ooh. Mm. I like garlic, too, but I don't want it on your garlic breath. Well, the wall is done. Fred is just, um, siliconing it up, all the little, like, holes and stuff. I'm picking up stuff. Yeah, we're putting we're things away. Now we gotta Thompson water seal it. We put on the, uh, tape stuff. You know, the tape that goes around the well, I, water window. splashes down here. I want to get a. Uh, and now Fred's on the floor. I'm gonna get some splash. Um, flashing. Splash, flashing. Now we have to. We're gonna have to get some flashing to go around this too. The hot tub is still a bit uh, murky. I'm gonna have to get some other stuff for it. I shocked it, but it's still very. Uh, it's cloudy. I don't know why. Now it really looks like the ghetto. Put a towel in for a, uh, a blanket for a curtain, but we're getting a, we're gonna get a shade tomorrow. It's all sticky. Put some Thompson water seal on her. This thing is solid. I mean solid. Twelve on center, and plus I'm getting another. I'm putting another. I'm putting siding on this, which is the Wayne's Wayne's board. I'm gonna do the fancy siding just on the front. My neighbors will love me for that fanciness. It's gonna look. It's gonna look great, guys. Just bear with me here. This looks like crap now, but it'll look good. Um, and then inside, the inside, I got 12 on center, guys. That's strong. Got that plate down there, solid. So, I have to take these boards off on the inside. I don't know if they're going to be wasted if I don't take them off. I might take them off. I got a lot of space to work with, believe it or not. I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of space. I, can, I got room, so I'm not shy of room working. I just, all this stuff's got to be moved tomorrow, so... We're gonna take all these things down, take this whole, rip this whole door out, and start over just like that door, that one. Except we got a different size windows because, window because this is gonna be the kitchen, and there's gonna be a corner cabinet here. Now this is just our, this is gonna be a mother-in-law suite later. So, hey, what if our parents get sick or something, get older and, you know, or whatever. Or we can rent it out. What if we don't have any money for the house? What if we get the house finished, which we're going to get the house finished, and when we finish the house, and we're living in it, we have to take a $100,000 mortgage out to actually finish the house. Because I'm going to get in a drive without a mortgage, maybe. The finishing, I might have to take a mortgage. So if I get a $100,000 mortgage out, and then let's say five years down the road, I lose my job, and I can't, I, or my job or work goes too slow, and I can't finish, I mean, I can't pay the mortgage. Well, if I rent this out for whatever, it'd be fancy, it'd be real nice in there. I rent this out, 
I can live in my house, have a rental, and I got an RV pad here too, guys. So I'm trying to do it in steps, but I'm trying to do it in smart steps. So you guys got to hang in there with me. On the comments, I just kind of explained everything what's going on. So on the comments, watch the end of the videos. Because sometimes people comment, they don't watch the whole video, and they just say their two cents, and I, I, I say it in a video. Or I, I said it in another video, but they're not watching the videos. They're just So watch all the videos so you get a good understanding of what we're doing here. And uh, look at that grass, huh? Hopefully Bulldozer Man can dig that foundation this week. Come on, Bulldozer Man, I need you. I need to dig that foundation. I want to see some start on that house. Sometimes you got to just start doing it. Like, we weren't prepared to do that wall. We just started doing it. It came out perfect. I mean, perfect. So, you just got to do it, I guess. You got to jump in it, guys. Say goodbye to your peeps because I'm tired. I got to edit a video tonight and then we got to go to Lowe's and we got to go to the other place and we got this and we got to start a new wall and, and a partridge and a pear tree. Say bye, hurry. Lakers and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.